Please don't mind my very, very bright and gorgeous uh, blush today. I tested the sunset blush uh, trend and I kind of love it. It is pretty bright. I applied a bit too much. So I might use this technique again because it is beautiful. Today we are talking about makeup affordable alternatives and I'm calling these alternatives because the shades are not the same, the product is not exactly the same, but they are too similar in my uh, opinion. So you don't need to splurge for the high-end option. Let's start with, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, a very, very duped product. And I would say that these drugstore dupes are just too similar. There is no need for you to spend that much amount of money for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I have in here the Catrice Soft Glam Filter Fluid and the Essence Magic Filter Glow Booster. I would say that the Catrice one is my favorite from these two. Elf has an option as well, I didn't test it, but so far I really like the Catrice one. This Essence one is a bit more goopier, a bit more heavier in my opinion. So overall I do recommend the Catrice one. It is affordable and nice. You have a doe foot applicator and it's just great. The packaging is very sturdy. It is a glass bottle. I really enjoy it. So I would recommend this one instead of the Charlotte Tilbury one. Then I have a blush alternative. I have in here the Artist Blush from Makeup Forever. It is the shade Rebel Blossom. I don't think I could show you, but I want to swatch as well the Catrice Air Blush Glow. I don't think the shades are exactly the same. The Catrice one is a lot more pinkier. So this is the Catrice and this is the Makeup Forever one. I don't know if you will be able to see. The shades, not the same, but the formula, they are quite similar if you are asking me because they are like a satiny blush with the smallest amount of glow. It is not a shimmer, it is a glow and they look really nice on the skin. The smell is not the best. I don't know why these drugstore products are smelling kind of weird, but you will not smell it on your face. And I really recommend this formula. It is very nice smoothing, but at the same time, it adds a glow. It's not emphasizing the texture because it has just the satiny formula. I really like it. It is a great formula and I would say that it is pretty similar to the Makeup Forever one. Let's go back to Charlotte Tilbury and mention the highlighter wand. And I found this product from Essence and it is surprisingly nice. This is the Essence Baby Got Glow, the highlighter wand. It is very similar. It is a puffy applicator. And this one I'm applying the same way as the Charlotte Tilbury one, just squeezing a bit of product on the puffy part in here and then taking my finger and applying it on the cheek. I really don't like applying it directly. It's just sometimes it removes my foundation. Sometimes it's just applying too much. And that is with the Charlotte Tilbury as well. I just prefer this method of application. I took this one in vacation with me. I used this one like two weeks straight and it is so lovely, wears great, looks great can't recommend this one enough. It did surprise me. Eyeshadow sticks are just so, so popular and I have the Bobbi Brown one. This is the shade, what shade are you? Golden bronze. It is a bronzy shade. It's nice. It looks really nice on the lid. It looks wonderful on the waterline, but I love the e.l.f. one. This is the shade Copper Chic. They are both kind of bronzy shades. This is just a bit cooler toned and this is a bit more warmer, but they both look incredible on the waterline and on the lid. These are both so nice, but the e.l.f. one is just the right price and I really enjoy it. So I can't recommend it enough. And then I have the Natasha Denona My Dream Lip Gloss. You know that this is my favorite lip gloss. It's so flattering, so smoothing. This was in vacation with me. It was really a dream to have it. Just a stunning product, but Essence is coming in strong with even more alternatives. I have the What the Fake Plumping Lip Filler Lip Gloss. And first of all, this shade is decently close to the Natasha Denona one. I would say that the Natasha Denona one is just 
a bit more neutral and this one looks a bit more on the pinky side but on the lips they are even more close and this one is plumping but is not painful and it is like a thicker formula that is filling the lines of your lips is looking great on the lips and I can't recommend them enough. They are both incredible, but the Essence one is so affordable and it is a really nice product. Then we have, of course, the clicky things. I'm gonna mention them very, very fast because I think I mentioned them in previous videos. I don't remember exactly, but of course the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump from Tarte and I have here the stick, click stick fat oil from NYX. In my opinion, the next one is better actually, so don't buy the tart one. There is no need for that. This one is less goopier, looks juicy, shiny and incredible on the lips and they have really good shades as well. Tart doesn't have that many shades. It has a million formulas, different formulas, but the next one is just better. So I really enjoy it. I want to mention it as well in here. I have three more lip products to mention. Apparently I love finding alternatives for lips. I have in here the Lip Velvet from ABH. You know that this is not my favorite product. It's just a bit too drying for me, but maybe my, um, my taste is just changing and I like glossier products because I love this one and I tested it recently and it is very similar to the uh, ABH one. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse. If you can find a shade for you in this line, this product is incredible. It is so lovely. But now I'm realizing that this is very drying as well. So I find them really similar. And if you like a velvety formula, something a bit more on the matte side, you will probably love both of them. So. It's just a shade problem. If you can find the shade for you in this line, you will love it. It is a great, great uh, lip moussey thing. And it's staying on the lips very, very beautifully. It is wearing out very gracefully as well. It's just a really nice product. But right now they are both not my favorite products. Another lip velvet thing, it is the Fenty one, the Fenty, Velvet Liquid Lipstick. For some unknown reason, I'm finding this formula a bit more creamier, so not that drying. This is a crazy shade though. It is very, very dark. As you can see, it is a vampy, um, vampy lipstick. And I found that the Smooth Whip formula, it is pretty similar because they are both a bit more creamy. They are comfortable and nice, but still on the matte side. Great formula overall, so you don't need to splurge on the Fenty one. These are just lovely products. And then I have another alternative from NYX. It's just a great brand overall and for lips. It's just one of my favorites, if not my favorite brand. And we have in here the Too Faced Lip Plumper Lip Injection Thingy Imaging. This one from time to time is just too painful. I think I tasted it two times, like I bought two minis and don't get me wrong, the product works. It is plumping your lips, but for what cost? For a bit of pain, a bit more pain if you are asking me. And NYX has this one, the Dark Plump. I find this product just incredibly nice because it is painful a bit okay so it will plump your lips it will give you a bit of pain but it will last a bit longer than the Too Faced one the effect of plumpness and as well it's not that painful compared to the Too Faced one so I would say that this is better and this is more affordable so you you, you don't need to splurge this one is just the best lip plumper out there in my opinion and believe me I tested a good amount of lip plumpers and this one is just the best in my humble opinion. And lastly we have an eyeliner. I discovered it today actually. I finished up a Natasha Dinona black liner. This one the Microtech or something like that. It's a great liner. It is very pigmented. It glides on the waterline. It's lasting a long time. It's just a great eyeliner overall but this one is as well and this is from makeup revolution it's so affordable so 
you really don't need to splurge on the Natasha Denona one. That one is very expensive as well for an eyeliner. So this one is just incredible. It is my favorite eyeliner formula, I think. This one and the Nabla one maybe. It's just so pigmented, so black, and it looks so great. So this is the Streamline Eyeliner, and I have it in the black shade. I have the orange one as well. I have the green one as well. It's just a really, really nice formula, and they have multiple uh, shades as well. So this was everything. I hope this video was helpful, and if you liked it and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like, and I will see you next time.